we'll just get a shot for basic on our our shock it's called an 8780 um, it's a basic Penske shock that's used on basically the Indy cars now and we're using it here in sports cars and it has a low speed rebound bleed adjustment it has a low speed compression bleed adjustment and it has a high speed adjustment that in the, our case we have the manifold flip so that's used as high speed bump adjustment and then you have your canister that you charge with nitrogen. Um, generally, it runs 200 PSI and it helps control the, the oil fluid in the shock. And uh, so that's a basic shock, you know, understanding of the, the shock on the outside and what adjustments we can do. Inside the shock, you have a shaft and a piston and shims. And you can tune your curve that your shock makes by changing the thicknesses and the order of how the shims are stacked. And you have a rebound side and you have a bump side. And then you have a piston. And there are different types of pistons for different flow. This particular piston is a relatively high flow piston. As you can see, it has a lot of orifices and stuff. And it is a uh, digressive piston, so it has an an outer and an inner stack and there's when you bolt it together it preloads the shims so you, you can generate more force and you can adjust that preload to change the force that the piston sees and the general in general the way this works hydraulically is this is in inside a tube and as the shaft moves the oil on each side of the piston, as the shaft moves, oil has to flow through the piston to get to the other side of the shaft. That oil is under pressure from the nitrogen gas that we discussed earlier, and there's another set of, of uh, shims called a head valve that are over on the nitrogen side. As this moves, that resists the oil from moving in and displacing the nitrogen in the nitrogen canister. So some of the oil is forced through the piston, and that gives you some of your curve, your initial movement curve and your low speed and things. Then the other magic of the shock is the shaft. It displaces the oil inside the tube. The oil has to go somewhere. It goes into the canister where the nitrogen is and it flows through the other set of shims at a controlled rate to, to change your rate of how the shock moves. And then of course, when the shock goes the other direction, the oil has to flow back through the piston. But in this particular shock, there is an adjustment for bleed and bump that actually is in the shaft and there's a shuttle valve inside and you can control how fast the oil goes through the shaft and avoids the shim stack or whether it goes through the shim stack. And that would be your low speed bump or your low speed rebound that you would adjust there. So that's the basics of how a shock work. You know, the way I understand it anyway. Oh, my God.